Hmm. Wouldn't it be weird if we walked on our hands? Hey, Oakley, you work, walk on your hands or hooves, hands and hooves. How does that work? Howdy, and welcome to the Bar SC Ranch, where you will experience our journey of running a family business, caring for animals, and doing life together. Subscribe now and be inspired here at the Bar SC. Have you ever wondered about the bones on the inside of your horse's leg? I certainly have. Oftentimes I hear about lameness issues or conditions that my horses um, experience, and I wonder what in the world are they, the vets talking about? So today I wanted to show you exactly what bones go down the front of your horse's leg and then how they actually correspond to our own hands so you can have a better visualization of what bones are where and kind of what they do. And then most importantly, that'll allow you to understand when your veterinarian is talking to you or to one of your friends about an issue or um, problem that's happening in your horse's leg, primarily obviously um, associated with the bones in the leg but then you'll know where those bones are and kind of what they do. Today I have Oakley here to help me show you the parts of the bones in her foot. So we've painted just some uh, rough outlines of where those bones would be. So um, if we look down on her front leg here, inside the hoof, so inside the hoof capsule is the coffin bone. That's, you would see the front of the coffin bone if we could take away her skin and, and muscles from here. So the coffin bone's down here in the hoof, then you have a short pastern bone and a long pastern bone. And those are right on top of each other. And I'm going to show you um, on the human hand kind of what that looks like so you can envision how um, close together they are and how they work. And then we have the cannon bone. And then along the sides of the cannon bone, so on here and here, we have two splint bones. And those are your major bone components of the horse's front leg. I found it just fascinating when I was um, learning about how the horse's front leg kind of corresponds to the human's hand. So essentially, when we're looking at a human hand and the front leg of the horse, it's kind of like um, the horse has only one finger to stand on and we have five. So here's how it works. We have five fingers, but our main middle finger would be like the horse's one finger that they're standing on. Um, our fingernail grows out of our nail bed right there in the similar way that a horse's hoof grows out of the coronet band. That's the space between um, the horse's hair here and the hoof. The hoof grows from this coronet band down. If a human had a hoof, it would be essentially like our entire, the end of our middle finger was covered in a nail. Um, but instead we just have the front of the nail. But anyways, imagine that if our entire finger were covered um, by a nail, that's what the horse's front hoof is. And inside we have just one little bone and the tip of our little middle finger, um, their bone is called the coffin bone. So that's the one that is in there. If you move up our fingers and our hand, um, we have two more um, bones up here in our foot. Those would be the same ones as the um, short and long pastern bones. So essentially, our knuckle here, our middle knuckle, is the same as the horse's fetlock joint. So that the fetlock joint is this big ball um, joint that's right here. Then we have um, our third metacarpal, which comes up here into our hand. And that is the same bone, essentially, as the horse's cannon bone. And then, if we look at the entire human hand, our, so I have my little diagram here, <laughs> the um, fourth metacarpal and the second metacarpal. So those bones on the inside of our hand that are up here, those are essentially the splint bones that run along the side of the horse's cannon bone. And we have five fingers, so if my hand were a horse's hoof, it would be as if my thumb and my pinky finger went away. And then the bottom, uh, these two fingers also would kind of go away. And just the horse has all of the bones that are in our middle finger, and then the two bones that are also on the side 
of this um, third metacarpal that's in the middle of our hand. Now that you kind of understand how our hand corresponds to the bones that go down the front of your horse's leg, um, it's pretty cool, this information, so that you can um, easily understand when your veterinarian is talking to you about a disease or an injury or something that is affecting the coffin bone of your horse. You just remember, oh my gosh, that's the bone that is essentially carrying all of my horse's weight. Um, and it's down inside that hoof wall. And then um, the other bone that I wanted to mention, it does not correspond with the human hand, but is the navicular bone. So you hear a lot about horses that have a disease called navicular. Someday um, in a future video, we will definitely get into that. So keep checking back on our channel for that. But um, essentially the navicular bone is tucked in behind the coffin bone. And because it is just one of those <laughs> weight bearing bones in the horse's foot, it also has a lot of issues um, or can have a lot of issues, but it's just not hard to figure out where that is. It's down there behind the coffin bone and um, your veterinarian can help you with all kinds of ways to care for that. Um, the reason that it is important to take care of your horse's feet and legs is because these bones obviously are um, carrying a lot of <laughs> weight and doing a lot of um, activities. I hope you can see now that the bones in the horse's front leg aren't actually that complicated. It's not actually that hard to kind of figure out where they are at. Um, and I hope this helps you understand what bones may be being affected when your veterinarian or your farrier is talking to you. Um, I also hope that you are encouraged and empowered to listen to your veterinarians and good farriers and take the best possible care that you can of your horse's legs and feet. That will keep them bearing weight for many, many years and being amazing, amazing riding companions. If you enjoyed this video, we'd love to hear from you. Like and subscribe and leave comments about what you might like to see in future videos. We'll see you back on the ranch.